Imagine growing your own organic vegetables and fish in your backyard, in a system that feeds itself. Welcome to the world of aquaponics. In a nutshell, aquaponics is a sustainable method of agriculture that combines the best of aquaculture and hydroponics. Picture this. Fish produce waste, plants soak up that waste, and in return, they purify the water for the fish. It's a harmonious cycle that mimics nature's way of maintaining balance. And the best part? You can set up your own aquaponics system right at home. Over the next few minutes, we'll guide you through the steps of building this self-sustaining ecosystem, providing you with a fresh supply of organic produce and fish. From understanding the science behind it, choosing the right components to assembling your system and maintaining it. Ready to get your hands wet? Dive in. Ever wondered why fish and plants make such a good team in aquaponics? Here's the secret. You may not have realized it, but fish and plants have been working together for millennia in nature, and we're just recreating this partnership in our own backyards. At the heart of it all is the nitrogen cycle, a universal process that's as old as life itself. Imagine this, fish, like us, eat food and produce waste. This waste, which is high in ammonia, may be toxic for the fish, but it's a treasure trove of nutrients for plants. But there's a catch, most plants can't use ammonia directly, they need it in the form of nitrates, that's where our little heroes come in, the nitrifying bacteria. These microscopic powerhouses live in the grow bed and convert ammonia first into nitrites and then into nitrates which are like a gourmet meal for plants. As the plants absorb these nitrates they grow and flourish but they also purify the water in the process creating a cleaner and healthier environment for the fish. It's a beautifully efficient system, where the waste of one is the resource for another. This cycle of fish waste turning into plant food, and plants cleaning the water, is the magic behind aquaponics. It's a natural, sustainable, and incredibly productive way of growing both fish and plants, with minimum inputs and maximum outputs. And the best part? It's a closed system with very little waste. The only input needed is fish food, and the outputs are delicious homegrown fish and veggies. So, it's a win-win situation for both fish and plants. But how can you build this at home? Before we start building we need to pick the right components, here's what you'll need. Like any well-oiled machine, an aquaponics system thrives on the synergy of its parts. It's like a band, with each component playing a critical role in creating a harmonious ecosystem. First up on our list, the fish tank. This is the heart of our system, where our aquatic buddies will swim around, oblivious to the fact that they're the backbone of our aquaponics orchestra. When choosing a fish tank, consider the size of your space and the type of fish you want to raise. Remember, a comfortable fish is a happy fish, and happy fish make for a successful system. Next, we have the grow bed. This is where our plants will flourish, absorbing the nutrients from the fish waste. When selecting a grow bed, consider the type of plants you want to grow. Leafy greens may require a shallow bed, while root vegetables might need a deeper one. The general rule of thumb is to have a grow bed that's about a foot deep. Moving on to the pump. This piece of equipment is the system's lifeblood, circulating water between the fish tank and the grow bed. You'll want to pick a pump that matches the size of your system. An undersized pump might not circulate the water effectively, while an oversized one could create too much flow and stress the fish. Lastly, we have the piping. This is the system's veins, carrying nutrient-rich water from the fish tank to the plants and then back to the fish tank. Choose durable, food-grade pipes that can withstand the rigors of constant water flow. Choosing the right components is like picking the perfect band members. You need the right balance to create a beautiful melody, or in our case, a thriving, self-sustaining ecosystem. Now that we have all our parts, it's time to assemble them. Time to roll up your sleeves and start building. Don't worry, it's simpler than you think. Let's begin with the fish tank. This is the heart of your aquaponics system, where your fish will live and produce the necessary nutrients for your plants. Place it in a location that's easily accessible and can support its weight when full. Consider using a sturdy table or a dedicated stand. Make sure it's level to ensure even water flow. Next, we move on to the grow bed. This is where your plants will take root and grow. It should be placed above the fish tank, allowing gravity to return the water back to the tank. The grow bed should be deep enough to support the root systems of your plants, usually around a foot deep. Now let's set up the water pump. This is what will move the water from the fish tank to the grow bed, completing the cycle. The pump should be submersible and strong enough to move the water to the height of the grow bed. Place it in the fish tank, making sure it's fully submerged. 
Connect it to a timer to control the frequency of the water flow. Next comes the piping. You'll need two sets, one to move the water from the fish tank to the grow bed and another to return the water back to the tank. The pipe from the pump should lead to the grow bed, distributing the water evenly. The return pipe should be at the bottom of the grow bed, allowing the water to drain back into the fish tank. At this point, you may want to add a bell siphon to your grow bed. This useful device automatically drains the water back to the fish tank once it reaches a certain level, preventing the roots from being submerged for too long. Finally, it's time to add the media to your grow bed. This is what your plants will root in. It should be inert, meaning it won't affect the water chemistry and porous to hold the necessary bacteria. Fill your grow bed with the media, rinse it thoroughly to remove any dust, and you're ready to plant. And there you have it. You've assembled your fish tank, set up your grow bed, installed the pump and piping, and added the media. You're well on your way to growing your own food in a sustainable, eco-friendly way. Congratulations, you've just built your own aquaponics system, but how do you run it? Building your system is just the beginning. Here's how to keep it running smoothly. The heart of your aquaponics system is the water, so monitoring its parameters is crucial. It's not just about temperature, but also pH levels, ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates. These might sound like chemistry class all over again, but don't worry, it's simpler than it sounds. Regular testing kits are available and easy to use. Feeding your fish is another essential task. Overfeeding can lead to waste buildup, while underfeeding can starve your fish and plants. It's all about balance, so find the sweet spot and stick to it. Maintaining your plants goes beyond just watching them grow. Regular pruning helps to control growth and promotes healthier, more productive plants. It's like giving your plants a little spa day. Now, let's address common issues like algae growth. Algae love light and nutrients just as much as your plants do. If your system is basking in too much light or if there are excess nutrients, algae might throw a party. But you can crash it by reducing light exposure and maintaining a balance in nutrients. With a little care and maintenance, your aquaponic system can provide fresh organic produce for years to come. So, there you have it. A step-by-step -step guide to building your own aquaponic system at home. We've covered everything from understanding the science behind it, to choosing the right components, assembling the system, and maintaining it for optimal results. Now it's over to you. What challenges do you foresee? What's the first plant or fish you'd introduce? Let's continue this conversation. Drop your thoughts and questions in the comments. And remember, subscribing means you won't miss our next DIY adventure. Now it's your turn. What would you grow in your aquaponic system? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more DIY projects.